Right, there's a question for you, which I've rewritten um, to kind of follow what I've been saying. So you can have a look at it there, so I'll move that out of the way. So it's quite interesting that you were looking at 1%. So because it's two tail, it's half a percent at each end. So you've got to be really, you know, <laughs> you've got to be really, really far away from it to, to, to chuck it out. So we've got like 0 0.006, so 0.6 of a, you know, of a percent out, and it's still okay. So it's in that top 0 0.6, so there's not sufficient evidence. But just imagine, I put down here at the bottom, imagine what would have happened if you'd used the 5%, so you were 2.5% either way, it would be a different ball game. You'd be rejecting H0, and this is what companies do. If you want to show that something's fine, you choose a ridiculously small significance level. If you want to prove that something's dodgy, you choose a big significance level. But anyway, I've done it both ways. So I've done it with the just with a p-value and with a standardized one. Uh, there's a, another example on this round here. I'm just going to pause it a second. Uh, hang on a sec. Right, back with you. So this one, you've got to find the errors. Um, so it says, we're a sprinter. It's 0.192 as a mean. Uh, got a standard deviation of 0 0.024. Uh, model, so, so we've got 10. And we want to see if it's reduced the times. So if you look, it asks for identify the parameter. So the parameter is mu. It's 0.192. Identify the mistake, which is said it's a two tail, but it isn't, it's a one tail. So it's a one tail. It says what must be assumed about the 10 reaction times for it to be valid. Uh, selected randomly, you know, which might have done it like hundreds of times, so selected randomly is good. Then it says complete the test correctly, stating your conclusion. Right, so they've done it with a Z of minus 1.05, haven't they? Uh, we could do it with the 0 0.184 because we've not really stated here that x bar is 0 0.184. So what I'll do is I'll pause a little bit. I'll put in the the um, the test stat. So it's x bar is less than 0 0.184. And then for standardizing, it would be z is less than minus 1.054. Because I've done the standardizing way, haven't I? Both of them give the same probability, which is 0 0.146. So that's like 14.6%, isn't it? So the 0 0.146 is greater than the 0 0.05. Therefore, we accept H0. So there is not sufficient evidence. Five percent was five percent. Five percent significance level to suggest. So are we hoping that it should be faster. I think so. That the training. Uh, what is it? Yeah. So, so it's not sufficient evidence at the five percent significance level to suggest that her uh, that. The, uh, whatever you want to put, training time has reduced. There. That's at four minutes. Is there anything else now? Nah, just questions. So well done, everybody. If you're happy with the layout, well done. It's all good. Right, bye bye.